Health News tonight, a controversial start on this first day of open enrollment for patients on Medicare. News 8 medical reporter Jocelyn Menta has more. Ann Corbett loves the fall, walking, hiking, camping, and tailgating. Sometimes that's been really tough because of my allergies, because just standing outside um, can make them happen. Since her teens, year-round allergies slowed her down. In fall, a major culprit? ragweed. In addition, mold spores can often be found on fallen leaves and as a result... It's very common for people who have year-round allergies to have worsening of their symptoms during the fall as well as spring. Dr. Alan Redding tells patients there are some steps they can take that can help, including buying HEPA air filters, using a saline nasal spray, avoiding raking or bagging leaves if they have a sensitivity to mold, or using a mask. And if they need to work outdoors or spend significant amounts of time outdoors, it's best that they do that later in the day. Dr. Redding says these tips may help with mild symptoms, but see a board certified allergist if symptoms are more severe, like in Ann's case. She started on allergy shots almost two years ago. The immunotherapy works by gradually reducing a person's sensitivity to their allergens. The shots have been life changing. She can now enjoy all that the season has to offer. And doctors say decongestants and antihistamines can also help. You can also get an allergy shot. It takes longer to work, but it will also reduce your symptoms for a longer period of time. Now to the story about United Healthcare Medicare Advantage plan for seniors. Last week, the company sent out some 2,000 termination letters to doctors on the list of providers. Doctors I've spoken to are still trying to figure out what's going on. They say there is so much uncertainty. Who's on the list? who's not on the list, and for how long. Many are only on the list until January 31st, 2014. Some are appealing the pink slip, but according to the process in place, the decision will not come until long after the enrollment period ends. All this confusion is making it tough on seniors, trying to decide whether to sign up for the United Healthcare Medicare Advantage program without their doctor on the list. Their doctors say they are doing what they can to help. We're trying to explain to them what's going on. We're not quite sure what's going on. We've gotten our letters that we're not involved anymore. We were off of their website, now we're back on their website. We're trying to identify which patients have United Healthcare, and then we're trying to call them and trying to direct them into a different healthcare plan so they can stay with us. Yes, now I spoke with a spokesperson for United Healthcare. The company says it will continue to offer broad access to care in Connecticut and will remain a good value by limiting out-of-pocket expenses along with additional benefits not offered with original Medicare. Ahead at 6, you'll hear from the patients directly affected by this and what step United Healthcare is taking to ease their concern. Darren and Sonia? All right.